64. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a world today where we have 64 different types of dental floss. I mean, let that sink in for a minute, right? Think about that. 64 different pieces of string, and you're the brand manager on that product, and somebody says, think outside the box. What would you do? Creativity is what happens up here. It's a cognitive science. Innovation is a social science. So artists create things. Innovators sell things. But down at its core, we've not been taught to innovate. That's why we always say, well, it's an accident. But we have no other choice today than to continuously innovate, meaning we had a choice before. Innovation at its core is about problem solving. The misconception is it's about something you see. That, that vision somehow is we have a line, a proprietary insight on what's going to happen next. And in reality, it's really more of what you believe. I think oftentimes with innovation, right, we're always in search of novelty. But in fact, sometimes it's that combination of existing ideas, Facebook, couponing, local retail stores, right, and bringing it together that that's what changes things. Opportunistic assimilation, fancy word, or you're stuck on a problem and all of a sudden everything around you becomes part of the solution. Don't innovate, solve problems. And then as you think about innovation or problem solving, we've got to kind of stretch the definition. So here we are, we're most creative when we're not thinking, yet we're asked to think here, right? Outside the box. My belief is that it's not about thinking differently, it's about thinking deliberately. It's the details, right? It's the, the devil is in the details in our business. Creativity loves constraints. All the research backs this up. Creativity loves constraints. You know, put people in a box and you'll be amazed what happens. I think saying to people, think differently is as poor advice. And this doesn't help you guys, right, for me to say to you, think differently. First of all, you may be thinking the right way. You might be swinging the right way and it's some mental game going on that we've got to work with. How can you find a better way to do how you do what you do such that the consumer ultimately chooses you? That's what we're trying to do. So my advice for you on this not thinking exercise is not fully, you know, go take a shower, right? Um, but what Hemingway suggested, he said to aspiring writers, you know, always leave your last sentence unfinished. He opened the door and saw dot, 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 and then walk away.